what is the road to a progressive majority in the Congress? Well, I think if progressives talk about the issues that the public are talking about, which are exactly in alignment with our values, uh, how to make sure that wages uh, are increased and making sure we're advocating for creating more jobs and having an economy that's inclusive for everyone, uh, making sure that everyone uh, who's working hard and playing by the rules has opportunities for their families, we're talking about the right messaging. So I think the conference uh, and talking about the specific values that we all share and getting out there and talking about those on the floor of Congress and working with inside and outside groups is going to be what really makes sure that we can move things forward. Do you think that uh, Progressive Congress is the, uh, the CPC is the way forward for the Democratic Party given the historic losses of the last cycle and the, the wave back to or the turn of the Senate back to Republican control? One of the things we really saw with the last election cycle is that people in tough districts who didn't run away from the president, who talked about values in a more progressive way came back to Congress, and those who didn't, didn't. Uh, so I think what a real lesson that came out of it is if you actually talk to the people and you have a conversation with the American people about how to make their lives better, how to increase their wages, people will come out and vote. But when you're talking about other issues or you're afraid to talk about your core values, uh, we often lose elections. So to me, uh, clearly a path to a majority, a path to getting things done, is by not being afraid to articulate the values that you share with the American people, which are progressive values. Again.